I'm back. I wanted to make a video about my van and my van life adventures that I just started out with because I've had some uh, people on Facebook asking me about my van. So, um, I'm, my name is Melanie Spratt. I'm, a, I'm an attorney and a divorce coach and my channel is DIY Divorce Class. My website is DIYDivorceClass.com. So in November of 2020, I bought a used shuttle bus from a guy whose church had gone out of business. It's a 2007 Econoline 350 shuttle bus, the short one, the um, three window bus. So it's probably about, I don't know, maybe 18 or 20, less than 20 feet long. They're the, the smallest shuttle bus that uh, you can buy. So I bought that. Um, I just saw a for sale sign on it when I was driving down the street in Odessa, Texas, and I uh, stopped and inquired about it and ended up ended up purchasing it about a week later. So I had been studying and researching and following van life channels on YouTube for like two or three years, totally obsessed with van life and all these great adventures that everybody everybody was having. So I had been looking for a van, an RV, a shuttle bus, and n never could find anything where I lived, uh, especially at a reasonable price. And I really lucked out with the price he sold me this one for. It was like so far under what shuttle buses were going for where I live in Texas. So I bought it and my two daughters who were, um, one was away at college and one was still in high school at the time, this was in 2020, um, helped me convert it. And so uh, they took all the seats out and these girls had <laughs> taken wood shop in high school, which has proven to be the most valuable class that they took in high school. So my youngest daughter, Julia, built uh, a simple platform for the bed. And my oldest daughter, Ava, built a little platform for the couch cushions that I got. And um, she made that out of two coffee tables we got at a garage sale for like a dollar two wooden coffee tables and um, I made the sink kitchen area out of a dresser I bought off Facebook I cut uh, a hole for the sink and put in a sink and a water system and I'll insert some pictures or a video here. I think my editing skills can do that. My editing skills are not great. This is the van. This is the <clears throat> Turkish couch I bought on Etsy and the platform that holds it, two coffee tables. The bed area, all my pillows and blankets and my warm and cozy comforter. My macrame chandeliers. My bathroom area, porta potty, the sink and kitchen area I built out of an old dresser. 
I got off Facebook. I cut a hole, put in the sink. Um, this little water spout. It needs to be charged, but that's how it works. And the water just goes clean water up the spout and then it drains into this gray water tank and I figured out how to do all that of course on YouTube the other chandelier yeah some artwork that my daughters did back in the day this is my van. It has storage underneath the couch and the bed. There's a, a lot of storage. I just use um, baskets and tubs under there. Very cozy. And so, um, here I am just a little over a year later we got everything converted and I'm on my first solo trip to Panama City um, um, my view from this Airbnb condo is a beautiful view of the beach and I'll try to put a picture of the view here But I took three days to drive from Texas to Florida. You cannot drive fast in a shuttle bus. I'll just tell you that now. So, and I stayed at um, Harvest Host places along the way. And Harvest Host is so awesome. You can, uh, you join for an annual membership fee of around $100. And what it does, it allows you to stay at in the parking lot overnight of wineries, breweries, uh, museums, golf courses. There's just like a ton of businesses that allow you to park overnight at their facility if you're a member of a Harvest Host. If you're a member of Harvest Host and you just go on their website and um, put in the location where you want to stay or, or you can just look at their map and it'll show you there's you know like thousands thousands of places all across the country that will let you book a spot that night so um, that's what I did I stayed at a great harvest host in Katy Texas at the uh, prayer park for the Katy Community Fellowship Church and then I stayed at an awesome um, nonprofit organization called Bridges for Bethlehem. Uh, they let me park um, behind their little facility. And the lady was so kind. The lady who owns the nonprofit gave me a walking tour around Pensacola and showed me all the great places to eat. So everybody's really friendly. I've had the best experience on this road trip and I'll be heading back to Texas in a few days. So um, that's the story of van life and I will uh, post other adventures that I do in the van. I don't get to do them as often as I'd like, but I'm trying to rearrange my schedule so I can be uh, fully nomadic by the end of 2022. So if you have any questions about van life or divorce coaching or anything like that, please put it in the comments below. I read all the comments. I'll answer all your questions. And thanks.